Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to Orb of Creation. Alright, well it looks like um, just in the short time since I recorded the last episode, we've already got knowledge capped out here. So let's just jump over to Wizardry and drop a few points into... Let's just do Wisdom, that's fine. Alright, what do I currently have? I have a setup for Brainstorm. So... Well, let's see. First things first. Uh, let's just drop one of these out real quick. Let's drop the Conjure Energy out and do a Construct. Just cast that once. I just want to get the little bit of skill that I needed to upgrade Proficiency here. And actually, the more I think about this, this is a very small amount of skill. But if I can get a bunch of points in this, then I'll just have passive gain there. I'm going to upgrade memory so that I have a little more knowledge capacity as well. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't afford that anymore. Oh, right, because I spent my thaumaturgy. Hmm... Just put some points in aptitude. Alright, now that's emptied out, I've got some time until it fills up. So, yeah, I think what I want to do is fill knowledge up and then cast construct to get a bunch of skill and then rinse and repeat. So let's get rid of this. Let's switch it back to conjure energy. And then we got to keep an eye on this blast wand now. Well, that really created a lot of energy. Uh, let's go ahead and cast that before this runs out. And then brainstorm. Perfect. All right, looks like we only need to do the one brainstorm. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's going way over. So let's just go ahead and continue to cast things here. This is up at 180. We can go ahead and do one of those. Hmm. All right, good enough. Go ahead and ditch these for the conjure skill. I guess it's just called construct. Get a couple of those in just before the attune orb runs out. And switch out a brainstorm for that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to be casting those while leveling up proficiency. This is going to give me some passive... Skill gain. So that I can continue to level up stuff while I'm waiting for that. Alright, so crafting requires capability level 4. I guess I'm gaining quite a bit less skill now that um, my Attune Orb ran out. The first few levels of this are going to be significantly more powerful uh, because they have a lesser cost associated with them. It looks like we're out of knowledge, though. So to get this paper, I need to be able to craft. To do that, I need capability level 4. Go ahead and grab that. Charge increases the rate artifacts gain experience. Hmm. I think this takes effect when I have more than one artifact. I don't really remember. How that works.
Alright, I've managed to max out my space again. Let's just go ahead and do this. That improves both. And I guess since I let my knowledge go up while I was doing all that, we'll charitably call it thinking. Alright, um... One more proficiency level. To 0.24 per second here. Maybe I can get one more round of these in. Alright, and that's the end of my knowledge. Alright, one more level of proficiency. Now let's go set this up for generating knowledge again. Knowledge and thaumaturgy, of course. Uh, let's see, we want the mass power one. So let's see, upgrading Brainstorm isn't going to do me any good. One thing I think I can do, since I'm over-generating my energy, let's try this. Let's attach a Surged Glyph to a Mass Power. Oh, and I can Surge Brainstorm as well, in theory. Now it costs too much mana to create it. Alright, so that's something to do later. Um, I might be able to surge this attuned orb. Yes. And if I remember correctly how this works, the fact that it's surged means that it delays the start of the, um, the energy loss. probably be putting some points into this to get more capacity but let's see how this goes first um my knowledge is actually already capped so let's do a point into aptitude and it looks like we can afford another upgrade on skill as well just about give this a second to charge up okay one more into this and then i'll have no choice but to upgrade the capacity All right, let's do this. Well, this requires 50. Interesting. Uh, we want to get this a mass power cast once this is about three. So I have 225 energy left. Ooh, 23 per second and three per second. Oh yeah, that's going way up above what it should be. An intellect, a couple points in resilience, wisdom. All right, let's do one more in resilience, and this is just about a cap, but I might want to spend it on something else. Uh, yeah, I was going to do memory, actually. I forgot. Rather than intellect, I should have done memory. Go and do one point in there now. And then I'll probably do that next time I end up. This is going to be ready to go soon. Won't be quite as strong because I won't have the tune orb, but that's okay. I don't think I want to create this yet. Only one artifact of each type may be equipped at a time. Um, I think I want to save up for the 48 here and then go ahead and get this leveled up.
And I think I need to start increasing this capacity a lot. Skill-related wizardry upgrades. That could be good. All right, let's do... Oh, this is already back up. Perfect. All right, well, let's just do a run of this then. Okay, so I'm just waiting for this to go under that. Under the five, that is. And then once that's charged, we can cast this. Perfect, 27 and three. Let's go ahead and do one of those. We're gonna get memory this time. Increase the capacity. Let's do wisdom a couple of times. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, another resilience level. I can now hold 40, which is as much as I need for skilled wizardry here. Capped on skill. 0.36 per second. All right, I'll go ahead and get the uh, four that I need of this to be able to unlock crafting. I'm not going to worry about experience yet. Fine on mana per second. Got a lot of options here. I really want a larger knowledge capacity. It's going to be hard to keep this from sitting at cap with the amount of income I have on it. Oh, actually, I should level this up. Let's just, um, yeah, we got plenty of knowledge right now. We get a bunch of cooldown speed off of this. Uh, actually, I could probably just barely. I actually cast a mass power a little too early. I think I might have, yeah, I snuck that in just at the right time. Uh, yeah, let's take this up to 40, grab skilled wizardry. Oh, wow, that opened up a lot. Okay, um, got a bunch of knowledge to spend, just spend it there. Okay, so this gives me yet another boost to my skill gain, as well as mana gain and cooldown speed. Seems pretty useful. I'm gonna gain just a couple levels of this. I don't really care about this. Um. Maybe at some point, when I have a much larger capacity, that'll be more important. All right, I have a lot of different directions I can go here. Let's go take a look at the workshop. Let's go ahead and get my capability up to level four so I can get crafting. Spend down my mana again, or my, um, I guess that's knowledge. Yeah, let's do another run at this. Put more points into memory. And go ahead and do this. Probably going to be making a lot of use of this particular combo for a while here. All right, wait for this to drop down below five. And we wait, and cast Brainstorm. It's so powerful. Just creating huge amounts of knowledge and thaumaturgy. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll do one point in memory, another in wisdom. All right, we should be able to unlock crafting now. 
Okay, so we can improve crafting power. Can unlock bookcases. Books improve the capacities of your resources. Well, that sounds nice. Let's go for bookcases. So I've already pretty much got the skill, so I just need to make sure I um, pretty much cap out my knowledge. So I'm going to do another point of memory. And let's run through this again. I don't need the tune orb. I'm going to wait until this is at four again. Probably going to lose a bunch of energy in the process. Not a big deal. And then just as this is about to run out, we can cast Brainstorm. All right, so I got to be careful to keep about 180 knowledge. So I think I'll leave it at there. And then what else do we have here? That's not quite a cap. I think I'll leave that there for right now. I might need it later. We're already at the cap here, so let's go ahead and spend it. Bookcases. All right, so we've got a couple of things that require paper. All right, I got to go check out this crafting thing now. So this is going to increase uh, knowledge and skill capacity. I really want that. Ooh, this is also really strong. All right, and this increases wood capacity, which of course I want as well. I can create advanced bookcases eventually. All right, crafting paper. Let's see here. So 20 wood and 10 skill. And um, this modifies the amount that I get out of it. So I can increase that by doing stuff like skilled crafting here. I don't think it's really um, that big of a deal this early on. So I think I'm just going to craft at the default rate. See, muscle memory requires memory level 20. I don't really think I care about many of these things right now. Alright, let's switch out our loadout. I am just going to generate, I think, wood for a bit. The satchel will increase my wood capacity. I need paper for that, which I just need wood for. So, this should work well. So I'm just going to completely redo everything here. Let's put this on a tune orb and then the rest of these on conjure wood. Let's uh, forget about the modifiers. Okay, so we're generating a bunch of wood constantly with those. Go over to crafting. Just start creating a bunch of paper. Why is it saying I can't cast these? Well, I guess I can. I'm not sure what the deal was there. All right, let's increase my wood capacity a bit first. I see. So I can't craft any more than the rate at which I generate skill. These are both really tempting. I see. So I'm going to be out of skill is the main issue here. Because I can generate wood much more quickly.
All right, well, that should at least let me build one of these. It'll give me some additional capacity here. All right, how do I want to tackle this? Advanced construction probably isn't going to do me much good, nor this, until I can get my skill generation boosted. Maybe what I need to do is... Let's maximize the satchels first. Then I can save up a bunch of wood, and then I can switch over to the spell that creates skill and craft a whole bunch of paper that way. It seems like a pretty good strategy. So let's go ahead and cast the boost here. And actually, so many tabs to work through. Let's upgrade this conjure wood. It's going to make this process... Oh yeah, that's much faster. Right, so that's pretty much going to cap out. Probably wouldn't hurt to throw a few points into some of these... Let's go to the world and another urn of expansion. This capacity some. Just trying to spend down my space. Yeah, and I want to put a bunch of points into this too, so probably um, when I start powering up skill, I'll do that. That's capped. Um, let's go ahead and make the switch. So it's construct. This is going to chew through my knowledge, but fortunately that's capped right now. And let's see here. Wood is capped. Go to wizardry. I'm going to put points into your dexterity. This will increase the uh, skill that I get from doing this. So I'll probably take this up to around level 10. Take a look at the other upgrades. So proficiency would be more powerful since that would actually increase the base amount of skill I get per second. Looks like this whole process is too slow. So let's take a look at the spell level. So times two cost, but times 1.75 power. So this is gonna be less efficient in terms of knowledge, but more efficient in terms of time. I'm fine with that. Let's go and do it twice. So, before we get started, I want to do that. I 
Okay, why won't it let me cast? Oh, because I chewed through all my knowledge. Okay. That's actually uh, really fast now. I didn't realize it would be quite that bad. All right, well, I'm gonna have to rethink that whole plan then. Oh yeah, 32 per cast. All oh, right, because it's not times three, it's times four, because I did uh, times two cost twice. All right, um, I mean, I can always lower that back down manually. I think I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now. Pretty much uh, just about at the cap here. So let's go ahead and go to the workshop. I'm gonna craft up a bunch of paper. And let's go ahead and increase. I've got a lot of options here. Probably skill capacity and knowledge capacity are the most important things right now. Go do an Arn of Urns. And I want to do one of these. Um, I can't afford memory. Yeah, reserves just isn't that important right now, I don't think. All right, I think it's time to decide where we're going after this. So let's go to Discover. We've discovered every spell except for these both require nature crafting. I can actually afford to get nature crafting. That's going to give me potentially access to... Oh, this one requires 160,000 mana. Oh, that's storm blasting. Never mind. But I'll get access to both of these spells. Alright, so we're going for nature crafting next. Uh, looks like I'll need to do a standard... Knowledge generation run here. Just uh, ditch all of this. The last two spells that I cast are... I think it's a mass power. A surge to mass power and a surged... Where is it? Um, brainstorm. Oh, I can't surge brainstorm, right? And this is going to be a surged to an orb. This is going to be a normal Conjure Energy. Alright, and I'm going to get uh, Nature Crafting. We might as well go ahead and put some points into... Do Memory. And Intellect. I'm probably going to have to buy some more... Intellect, just so I don't waste this. So, nature crafting, intellect. I can just go ahead and do. Well, I want to see the spells as I cast them so I don't mess up the order with this. Okay, so once this drops below, I can go ahead and cast this. And then brainstorm before this runs out. Plus 35 and plus 4.33. Alright, well, knowledge is going crazy there. Let me just take a look here. Maybe these require... Yep, 50 knowledge, 20 skill. All right. Got to spend some knowledge and intellect here. Or, um... Vomiturgy. Uh, that's undercap. That's undercap. All right. Probably might as well spend a little bit of knowledge here. All right, let's take a look at these spells. So we have enchant... Improve your spells for a short period of time. So that's um, non-augment spell power for 6.3 seconds. Hmm. Considering the cost of that, I don't think that's going to be worth it for a while. And then we have Empowered Smithery. All right, I definitely remember this. This spell is completely overpowered. Because what you can do is you can cast... 
like four or five of these and they all stack and they all give crafting power so you can craft like four times as much stuff with the same resources it's really strong more than four times as much i think when you get to the uh late stages of the game so let me just take a look at this right now this costs 1.4 thousand to cast just ditch that. Yeah, it costs 2,000 to create and then 1.4 thousand to cast. So I actually have enough max mana. Why am I losing mana? Oh, because I had overcamp. Yeah, I can just cast four of these straight up, which gives me a huge boost to crafting power. Plus 46.6% crafting power. So that's all additive. So it'll be, what, with four of them, it'll be about plus 180%. So it'll be almost three times the stuff created. So like instead of spending 20 and 10 to create one paper, it'll be to create almost three paper. So, let's just spend down some of my knowledge. And I'm going to continue to invest into passive skill generation here. Hmm, although it's tempting to just put all of this into skilled crafting. I don't know. I think I'll put uh, a couple points into skilled crafting. And then we're actually nearing the end of the episode here. So what I'm going to do is in the next episode, we'll go in and try um, casting four of those crafting spells and then crafting a bunch of paper. You can see I now create 1.08 um, because of these upgrades. And that's only going to get stronger. Um, as I get more and more upgrades. Oh, right. I'm going to have to get used to the fact that this song always comes on right as I'm about to end the episode. That is absolutely hilarious. Maybe what I should do is just, um, offset the time that I start. Like, I can just, uh, let the game play the first song and then start the episode and that way it'll be like a few minutes later well far be it from me to rob anyone of the chance to hear this so even though i am done playing for right now um i'm gonna sit here and let this play out before i end the episode so um i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching <laughs>